That brutal surge when a jet takes off, when you're pinned to your seat and the cabin roars, that's not even full power, the engines are literally holding back. During takeoff, pilots rarely use maximum thrust. Most departures use something called reduced thrust or flex temp, a calculated setting that can be up to 30% below full power. Why? Because running at max every flight would wear the engines out faster than you can say maintenance bill. By simulating a hotter outside temperature, the system tricks the engine computer into producing less thrust. It's safer, smoother and saves millions in fuel and maintenance costs over time. The aircraft still meets all takeoff performance requirements, it just does it with mechanical restraint. According to Boeing, even with reduced power, today's engines generate enough thrust to lift hundreds of tons in seconds. If pilots ever selected full rated thrust, you'd know instantly. The acceleration would feel like a hurricane hitting your spine. That reserve is there for short runways, hot days or emergencies, but it's rarely needed. So next time you're gripping the armrest on takeoff, thinking this must be max power, remember, it's not even close. The jet's only using what it needs, saving the rest for when it really counts. Still, would you rather have a calm takeoff or feel what 100% actually feels like?